Yankee Conco would have known it. Eh, you want to Yankee Kibani Conco Uku. Some people say pineapple. Good have you. Oranges, come on. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Welcome back to Indulge with ET. I hope you're all doing well. So, today we're going to be making Zovo. This is a hibiscus iced tea. Whether you call it Bisab, Sorel, Zovo, this drink is loved in West Africa. And today I'm going to be demonstrating how I like to prepare it. So, to begin with, I'm going to thoroughly wash my fruit. And go ahead and and prep them for juicing I love to use a bread knife when working with pineapple I feel as though it's the most steadiest and safest tool to use and I always get the results that I'm looking for so notice that I'm going to set some of this pineapple peel aside because I will be using them in my recipe you have not lived until you've had a pineapple grown here in Ghana. The pineapple here is so amazing. I'm yet to have one that I did not like. They are sweet all year round and very, very juicy. The oranges here are really incredible as well. They come in an orange yellow color as well as green. So if I found a green orange overseas, I wouldn't go near it. But here in Ghana, the green ones are also just as sweet as the orange ones. As you can see, let me cut this one up for you. See, perfect. No difference whatsoever. <laughs> so guys, there's not too much to show about this. I'm going to peel my fruit and prepare it for my juicer and cut it to reasonable sizes so that they can fit and that's all there is to it. So now I'm going to run my fruit through the juicer. If you don't have a juicer at home, you can use your blender, add a bit of water to help it move. And once you're done, run your juice through a very fine sieve so that you can get rid of any unwanted pulp from the fruit. So once that's done, refrigerate your juice until you're ready to use it. Now let's go ahead and start to measure out our hibiscus flowers. So notice that there was three varieties of hibiscus when I was buying it. I like to go for the flower to avoid the trouble of having to separate stones and other particles and sometimes sand. So yes, choose a soft life. This is the way to go. <laughs> So I'm adding some water to wash my hibiscus flowers. You're going to want to wash it a few times just to make sure that you're getting the good stuff. Now I'm going to pick out what is good and separate it from any foreign material. I'm running it through my tap once again. Once I'm satisfied with how clean it is, I'm going to put it back into a bowl and get ready to put it into my boiling water. Following the hibiscus flowers, I'm going to add my spices. Today I'm going to add some anise seeds, cloves, cinnamon sticks and star anise. All the measurements will be on the screen and also in the description below. Following that, I'm adding some pineapple peels and some sliced oranges. And also some fresh ginger which I'm going to grate and add to the pot. Give it a good stir, allow it to come to a rolling boil. And then I decided to add some dry lemongrass. I love the flavor and the taste of lemongrass. So that also brings a nice freshness to the juice. Bring your hibiscus tea to a boil. There's no need for it to be on the fire for too long. And then remove all the large particles. Leave it to cool for a couple hours. If you intend on adding sugar to your drink, add it at this point. And also, once it's cooled, you can also add your juice that you prepared earlier. I did not add sugar to mine. I'm going to sweeten it with honey when we drink it. And for those who want sugar as well, they can add it before drinking. So finally, I'm going to run it through a colander just to get rid of any of those particles that I missed. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer my juice into my glass bottles, which I'm going to keep in my fridge. So this should last for weeks. Usually it doesn't last too long in our household. We tend to drink it almost as soon as it's made. <laughs> 
Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing iftar, inshallah. May Allah accept our ibadah and our prayers. I'll see you all soon.